Nice yeah. to see you, Alan Hastings. Welcome, sir. Come on in. Nice to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. How are you? Nice to see you, sir. Greetings, lounge cadets everywhere. My name's Howard. I'm your host this evening here at Lounge Academy. I see Bob Davis, jazz pianist, deluxe, is out there somewhere, and, and so is Vincent Kolb. There's these little, these names come up in green that, that tell on you. Uh, Donna's out there. Hi, Donna. So we're just uh, getting started. We started a little, a little later than usual. Nice to see you, Bob Davis. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, we don't. We, once again, you know, we, we never know what to expect at Lounge Academy. It always surprises us. And uh, downtown is vacuous tonight. Nobody's downtown. Um, I think we've got more people here at Lounge Academy in, in the rest of downtown. So, uh, so apparently this is the place to be. Um, I don't know if everybody's got like kind of a Thanksgiving kind of like non-alcoholic um, partying hangover, you know, or like a, a family hangover. Maybe they're afraid they're going to bump into their family if they go out, you know, but they're not downtown. But but we've got a nice, nice little group of real lounge people here tonight, as you'll see some of your favorite lounge cadets. So I'm going to put the mic up here where it belongs, next to my bell. And we've got, uh, we've got your favorite camera angles tonight. We've got, we've got the corner cam. You can see Alan Hastings over there talking to McNeil. His, his pal came along. Kenny Apples. Kenny? Kenny Apples. Kenny, nice to know you, sir. I'm Howard. I'll be your cocktail Danny's pianist. Danny's visiting from Atlanta. Yes, he is. Oh, Danny. Uh, Danny. Oh, he's from Buffalo. Oh, he's moved to Atlanta. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, welcome home. They're coming from far and wide. Did you see us on the news? This is a camera that's, you'll see, this camera is very important later in the show. Here's, a, here's the far cam, we call it that, because you're looking clear across the lounge. That's uh, Gary Marino, a huge figure in lounge in Buffalo and, and internationally. Got a lot of people, you're bringing a big audience, Alan. They love Alan. Why wouldn't they, right? And then we've got our, uh, this one here that we use to check the card in my hair. Can you guys let me know if that card looks straight enough to begin uh, the, the episode? I think it looks pretty, pretty straight. And I'm pretty fussy. Oh, I realized my voice trailed out there while we were checking the hair cam. And then we've got the split cam. It's like being a fly on the wall because you can see everything just like, just like flies can. You know, just this. Just let me know what you want to hear, ladies and gentlemen. Or if you want to talk to any of your favorite lounge cadets, we'll just blast away. If you want anybody to come up 
to the piano to answer any questions that you might have for a particular lounge cadet that you've grown particularly fond or just curious about. The seat president of WBIG-TV, Ryan Lysars, is back with us on a regular basis again now that he got all that getting married stuff out of the way. Yeah, Mary's here, Justine. She's hiding behind the bar right now as soon as she's done. And that's Mary McNeil, or just known as McNeil. She's the one waving. And there she is. She's wearing red. Got a few other people there in that blind spot over there. Mary's going to herd them. Why, why shouldn't I take a chance when romance passes by? Why shouldn't I, McNeil? Why, why you come up and keep me company over here, McNeil? No of love. Why wait around when each age has a sage who has found that upon this earth love is all that is really worth thinking of? It must be fun, lots of fun. And then you'll be kissed again. All debutantes say it's good. And every star out and far, how we would seem to give it a try. So why? Why shouldn't I? Oh, thank you, McNeil. Very nice. It's great having McNeil in the house tonight. <laughs> Betty's out there. I knew we'd have a lot of viewers tonight. I think I just thought people are going to be in the mood to just sit back and put their feet up and do something really dumb and mindless tonight. And here we are, Lounge Academy. <laughs> we know how to program at WBIG TV. I'd welcome Jimmy B. Rick Manguso, nice to see you, sir. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's a great, it's great in the lounge today. The virtual lounge. It's wonderful having all of, all of you here with us. Joan Jaworski's lounging with us tonight. Joan Bloom. Joan Bloom is in Bloom. And that's a great tune. Okay. 
Academy on account of it's Friday nights. This is a great night for a lounge academy because everybody is just their mind blown from eating all that turkey and avoiding politics with their families. It's 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 tough. Right, Joan? With Joan Blum in the audience, we can do anything. She's not just in the audience. When you're in the audience, you're in the lounge. You're part of this. Because we couldn't do this without you out there watching and commenting. And I can't give you anything but lounge. McNeil. That's the only thing I have plenty of. That and lard donuts. Yes, I've heard that. I know that's really good. I know how it works. Happiness and I'll guess. McNeil always dreamed of. My baby, diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell. I checked. That lucky day, no doubt. Well, 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 McNeil. I can't give you anything but love. Want to sing it with me, McNeil? We're going to hear from McNeil right up at the, right on stage in a little while. It's going to be a real treat for you. I tell you how I, I came home last night you know the whole family was was there and uh, oh no I, I came back I was there I was there and then my uh, brother-in-law I got him to do no there's other uh, my other one David in law by marriage by marriage He's a very handy guy, so he comes over and he sees I got a lot of like, a lot of wood laying on the ground in the backyard, you know, from trimming the trees. And he said, you want me to get this stuff out of here for you? He says, I'll burn it, you know, well, I'll heat my house with it. He's a, he's a real redneck, you know. He's good, good at it. So, uh, sure, you know, so I said, let me, let me go back to my shop, I'll get the saw. So I went back, I got this, so I came back and I'm pulling in with a saw. And I see Jeffrey walking down our our driveway. The cat. The cat for those at home that are new. And he was orange and everything, and he was outside. Yeah. And then he cuts across and goes across our lawn and across the He's not. He's never been outside, so. How did George get outside? No, no, Jeffrey. I, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. Well, I figured there's so much traffic with the, with all the, the in-laws here for the holiday, right? So, I, so I'm chasing Jeffrey down the street on foot. And. Uh, Who's chasing Jeffrey? Me. Oh. Because I didn't want to lose sight of where he was. So, and, he, and he's not looking back, you know. He's just crossing over lawns up here. He's, he's not going to know which house is his. He's never been out. So he's going in shrubs. Get out in the first place. Well, that's what I asked. Well, I don't know. I pulled up, and he, there, there he was. So, yeah. So, 
so I'm going through shrubs and calling them, and then there's there's some of my neighbors are trafficking and watching me, and I'm this going. This is scary. You know, so finally he's like getting close to. Um, when I was inside the movie, I was doing all this. Close to the corner, you know, and I'm thinking, I'm calling him. I'm saying, Jeffrey, you know, what's up? You know, and he turn around and look at me and just go, what are you, what are you, some kind of a nut? Look at a fail boy. Yeah, and then he'd go and I'd do that he again. Answered. And he'd turn around, he'd look me right in the eye, and then he'd just go, I'm in the room. What the, who, who, the hell are, <laughs> who the hell are you, you know? Something that's weird, maybe, you know, maybe it's not Jeffrey, you know? I'm, Even though he's coming down the driveway. <laughs> but I've never oh, seen another orange cat. Another orange cat. Yeah, so I said, okay. Before I get too far from the house, I'm gonna have to like take a chance here. I'm gonna have to like risk losing track of the cat. Yeah. But finding out for sure if it's Jeffrey or not. Right. So I ran back to the house and I walk in and Mary's like, you know, she's like air traffic controlled during, you know, like a big storm, you know? <laughs> I couldn't even get her attention to tell her that, you know, I'm trying to say, all I wanted to know is somebody tell me is, here. is the cat in the house. Right. So everyone's like, everyone's ignoring me because right. I wasn't sitting in front of a mic at a piano. The rest of my life, my existence, I'm totally ignored. That's why I do this, it's ladies the only and gentlemen. Time you get attention. It is because you can't ignore me because it just gets worse if you try right. to ignore me. Yeah. So I uh, I go running, calling for him, and I'm thinking. I don't think he's here. Then all of a sudden he appears. He's going, what the hell do you want? Because he does that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, oh, thank you. did not know you at Thank goodness, no. But he kept answering to the name Jeffrey. Well, he turned around and looked. Yes, I said I took a break. He didn't mention Jeffrey. Nice to see him, are you? I saw you on the... Oh, did you? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, on the news, you mean? That was so funny, man. Gary Marino, ladies and gentlemen. Which, which TV? They're all around you. You can point. You can Hello, out there in television land. <laughs> there he is. Kenny, you need to be on television. Get over here. Come on, Kenny. So, which, what TV? Did you see the Channel Seven thing? The donut thing? The donut thing. Oh, good. Yes, yes, yeah, that's yes. the best one. George was on there. Um, yeah. He had a big part. He did yeah. good. George Affle was on there too. Yeah. Um, Mary had a big part. Yeah, he did. So, yeah. Yeah, Wendy was like he made the thing like legit. And that was the that was the the morning after his premiere. You know, so I mean, he was hot property. We had him. That's right. Yes, he did. He was in a premiere of a movie, a, an actual. Real movie at a real at a real emotion picture. Yes, he was. This guy is alive. Uh, I think you need to introduce Kenny, our new television star. <laughs> Introducing tonight our new lounge cadet. <laughs> Kenny. 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 Kenny what? Hello, Kenny. Nice to know you, sir. Nice to meet you. Kenny's from Buffalo originally, and he's been doing some engagements in Atlanta. So he, they actually put him up. They got him a, what, a condo or a house you live in down there? Yes. Apartment? Condo. Yeah. That's a big deal in Atlanta. A condo is like, like a million bucks, yeah. right? Too much. Oh, yeah. How about the taxes? Are they cheaper? Or? Taxes are they're bad, actually. That's one thing that save money on snow shovels and salt. Twice? Yeah. That's twice. about right. You can spend money on air conditioning and so Right. He misses the cold, he said. People miss really? Buffalo. Buffalo is a kind of place they miss. It's in, in July and August because when it gets too hot. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. How many people miss the cold? I don't miss the season. How much family do you have here? Uh, not much love. They got some cousins and. Brothers, sisters, parents. Did you bring any of your good friends uh, tonight? Or? Hello. I, to <laughs> I did. <laughs> How were their crossing guards together? Is that true? That yes. is true. That's what they said. Yes. See, that's where 
wife band, you know, bands of wife working the trenches together like that. Because you're risking your life. You probably pulled each other out of the way of a, a bus a couple of times. So, so you guys have each other's back forever after being crossing guards. Protect those kids. The uniform might be off, but you're still crossing guards. <laughs> Probably dream about crossing guard stuff once in a while. You'd have to. All of a sudden, some kid like doesn't look. Good for you. Thank you for wearing the uniform. <laughs> Thank you for your service. I mean, uh, all everyone, you know, you know. Think about crossing guards. It's not like you're doing something somewhere far away and nobody really understands and doesn't really understand that it's affecting them, you know, which it is. Crossing guards. We all crossed the street when we were kids. We know what this so is we, about. So we, everyone, you know, Absolutely. we've all been saved. Yes. The what? We know the cost. The cost of yeah. yeah. We know. Yeah. The cost. Some some paid all. All paid some. You got paid You got paid You got out of out there in all kinds of weather. You know, there's no day off for crossing guards unless they unless they haul off and cancel school. And then if it's already open and they cancel it, then you gotta like be there at some weird time. They cancel it before three o'clock. Right? It's like special forces. All of a sudden you're just deployed. Yeah. Oh, good. Bill Jenkins thinks the show's off to a good start. I do, too. Because we got Alan and Kenny. Yeah, this is great. See, now the shoulder cam is it's perfect. Would you say hi to Michael Powers out there? This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine as far as Alan could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. Dawn I woke up singing sentimental overture. This heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world has taken on a wonderful design. Life indoors, it's yours, this heart of mine.
song nobody knows, so don't feel bad. That's an obscure song. It's a great song, though. It shouldn't have been obscure. Right, Mike Powers? You like the shoulder cam? Okay, Mike. Mike Powers wants the shoulder cam. That's a, that's a good angle. You know what I'm going to do? I'll adjust it a little bit. Just for Mike? As we know. There we go. This is perfect. Everybody's in frame. We know that everybody's been through a lot at home. And they just want to be left alone. And this, this is the activity, right? It's just, it's not too challenging to watch Lounge Academy. So what do you think, Alan? Uh, what do you think of this? Got any advice for me about like how to keep the convention center from encroaching on our, from encroaching on our property and just telling us we got to give it to them or sell it to them? I think that. You think so? You think so? No, it's you know well, you're making me feel better. But I, but I, what I, I don't really want to sell it. You know? It's not to me. I mean, I want I want it to be worth a lot in case in case I ever need like a I don't know a new pancreas or something something expensive. I, at least I know I got it. But but I you know I don't really want to. Uh, I guess I can move somewhere else if I do right. That's where you'd come in. You'd find me the next place. Yeah, that's how I feel. Do you have this in Atlanta? Do you have this in Atlanta? Yeah, like one lot closer to Niagara Square somehow. <laughs> this whole block would be taken, so they would have to buy the BAC or something. Yeah. But this place is cool because it's a house. And it's out of place. That's what makes it interesting. If, what do you think? What does your gut tell you? No, good. All right. Well, I like your gut. Yeah, they didn't really uh, address the parking. You know, what, like, wouldn't that be kind of a problem? Because the plan they had, it didn't even have, I figured, oh, they were going to have, like, a bunch of floors of parking, right? And then, and they didn't. It was, there was, there was no parking. I mean, how important, how valuable is it to be close to, like, five bars on Chippewa? Right? Seven, there's seven. Is that, is that what that? There's like a group of them, right? They formed like an advocacy group. Well, if it's 3.15 in the morning and you're at one of them, they're pretty important. Yeah, I wonder. Well, that's probably why they're hoping, you know, they get some... thing is, though, I mean, we... Been, you know, the convention center has been open the whole time I've been here. We're, we're in their closest parking lot. You know, we're very, very close to the uh, main entrance. And is Allentown a big place now? I still think it's horrible. It doesn't. It's not like I don't know. It doesn't seem. You know, you you think convention center, and you have a restaurant or, or something, entertainment. You're going to kick ass, but I mean. Nick's place is right on the corner, like directly the across from him. And I don't, I don't know what. I, I think I'd, I'd rather have like a full office building. And every day, those nine to fivers, you, you're going to know how much they're going to eat every day. You're going to know when your staff should be there. It's not, you know. Otherwise, you get like ten thousand people coming out, and you can't, you can't serve them all. So you're going to be full. Big deal, and then you might be short stay after. Never, you know. They, like I, 
I think like the law, the uh, the bar association has their exam there and stuff. So they they all come out at the same time and call Uber to go to the air. I know because I was driving Uber. You take them to the airport, you know. Now, some of them are going to grab a burger or something, but but so what? These nine to fivers, these these are the people. You know, you get to know them. They get to know you. Even like with my donut business, you know, we're becoming valuable to each other. We, we could count on them. I know to make a certain amount of donuts, some of the regulars are going to be there, you know. So I could kind of relate to how a whole lunch restaurant would be, which I'd like to have in, in, in time, you know. I'd rather have that than... I, I like the convention center because it's, it's kind of exciting to be where the big events are, you know, it's just where the, like tomorrow night, the, the world's uh, largest disco, be fun, you know, but from a, a business model standpoint, I think you're better off with just a full office building. Yeah. You don't have to lose your mind. And when there's nothing going on, which is like most of the time, right? It's there aren't now it's displaced the people that would be eating lunch or stopping in for a happy hour or for a bite on their way home. Because it's just this big empty hulk. Yeah. So it's not it's not that great. I could see how you know if I had a hotel and you want to be able to get those big you know, four times the normal rate rooms a few times a you know, ten times a that's great. That's probably what puts you over the top, you know. But how much? How much? There's like three of those guys, right? Yeah, it's not hard to get here. Now this guy, they're ignoring this guy over here that bought the uh, Adams Mark, um, the, the Buffalo Grand Hotel. He, he, he did a presser and I, I saw it. it the, the new Buffalo News didn't publish it or mention it ever again. But um, Channel 2 did and some of the others did. And he said, well, let them build whatever they want. They, they don't seem to be paying any attention to me. I'm, I'm building a convention center. So it's going to be as big as the one we got, and in two years, it's going to be double the size of the one we got. So, you know, some some of the people I've talked to that are just, you know, the just the armchair quarterbacks, they're going, oh, well, that guy, no one takes him seriously. It's like, if you if you had a piece of a $400 million investment, which is what they're saying this is going to cost, we know it's going to be more than that. You know, if, if it was a, a private thing, if it was... You know, Warren Buffett thinking of picking up a few shares, or you and I thinking of picking up a few shares. Somebody would do that. You you wouldn't just like dismiss some guy that claims he's already you know doing construction that that's going to like be a player in that and cut into those numbers that that their report came up with, right? I mean, you'd want you you can't just say, oh, he's probably full. If you were you know, these people don't even really have a stake in it. You could tell. Nobody does. Even the guys spending the money don't have a stake in it. They figure if they get the 400 million, then they get to dole out 400 million, which is a great thing for them. If, if they don't get it, they're not out of cent. They're not risking their house, you know. Meanwhile, they come out with this, you know. He said, well, we don't have the money, but you got to start with something. This makes sense. You know, so you got to have some kind of plan that you could present to the state or to whoever's going to give the money. And then you got something to work with and to go from. So the, the county executive said that's, that's why they paid for the study and threw it out there. But by throwing it out there, what about us? They're killing us. Try getting a tenant or a partner or a stakeholder in anything on this block when they're threatening to demolish it. You're going to be able to put a five or ten year tenant in? Oh, I don't know. They don't want to move over and over again or have to wonder about it. So, so what about us? I mean, that's that seems kind of callous, you know? 
Yeah, no, yeah, realize, I'm sure. Of your conversation. That's so much surprise <laughs> Yeah, I bet he's. I bet he's not real happy about it. I love the It's not much of an attraction, you know. I don't know what the old Walmart is. All right. Well, thank you, Alan. It's a great thing about the uh, piano bar, you know. It's everyone. Everyone comes around. And you get their opinion on something, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's what I like about the donut business. That's even better. We're right out there on the sidewalk. Yeah, but still, Well, I appreciate your professional and your gut. I prefer. I like your gut, especially since you know. I hope that's how it plays out. I want that one that's swimming there. Yeah, I want that eel. Damn live shrimp. Damn live shrimp. The stars are out tonight in their lounge academy, ladies and gentlemen. Damn live shrimp. Yeah, you went to the Asian market. There's one that Mari knows. Yeah, I Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. On a con I only advise for you. The moon may be high. I can't see a thing in the sky. I only have eyes. Sitting here Little feeling Angel. guilty. He goes out. He goes out a lot, from what I hear. Yeah. I mean, I, I know There's so many great songs, you know. What a day this has been. Gary is great. What a great mood I'm in. Somebody loves you. 
It's no good unless she loves you. to be near you when you need someone to cheer you all the way taller taller than the tallest trees that's how it's got to feel how deep it goes if it's real help me out with me on Bring on when somebody needs you it's no good unless she needs you all the way all the way through the good and lean years through the good and lean years all those in between years all those in between years Who knows, who knows where the road will lead us? Only a fool, only a fool would say. <laughs> if you let me love you, it's for sure I'm going to love you. Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn, 1929. Can't believe it's been that long already. <laughs> From a Joker's Wild. I never saw that, did you? No, I'd like to see it. Here's a song about an oxymoron. Alone, together, beyond the crowd. Of the world, we're not too proud to cling together. We're strong as long as we're together. Alone, together, the blinding rain, the starry night. We're not in vain, for we're together. For what is there to fear together? Our love is as deep as the sea. Our love is as great as a love can be. If we can weather. Great unknown. If we're alone together. Nice. Thank you, Alan. Kenny, you're gonna come back. That's gonna be a Kenny. It's gonna be a hit. Yeah. It's a good one. I'd like to wish everybody a. Uh, Happy Black Friday out there. Everyone chilling after getting, getting that big Thanksgiving thing out of the way, right? Now we just got a few more hurdles to get to some peace and quiet in January, right? Oh, look at that. He's a pro. He spills empty, empty glasses. McNeil's right there with a... That's why, that's why these people are true lounge professionals. Watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV. I'll give you the split screen. Reno, am I blue? 
semi blue. Faith is here in my eyes, telling you. Am I blue? You'd be too. If each plan with your man done fell through, there was a time I was the only one. But now I'm, I'm the sad and lonely one. Body was I gay? Now she's gone and we're through. Am I blue? that I've seen on YouTube. Thank you, McNeil, for starting that yeah. off. If you're watching Lounge Academy tonight because because you're chilling and relaxing after after the Thanksgiving ruckus, give us a thumbs up. Let us know you're out there and we're helping you to kind of decompress. I know we are. I was chasing the wrong cat through the neighborhood last night. That's how crazy it got. Turned out mine was home in a box laughing at me. He had a doppelganger there running around the neighborhood. Day and age we're living in. I think Lizzie's out there. Day and age we're living in. Cause and apprehension. Speed and new invention. Things like flight dimension. Oh, weary, but Mr. Einstein's theory must get down to earth at times, relax, relieve the tension, no matter what the progress, what we're meant to prove, simple facts of life are such, cannot be removed. We must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. 
on that you can rely. No matter what the future brings, as time goes by. songs never out of date are full of passion jealousy and hate woman needs man and man must have his mates that no man Same old story, a fight for love and glory, a of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes by. time goes by it's nice to see Mike Duffy out there how are you sir happy Thanksgiving Other show business people, like like everyone we have in the house tonight, it's just just great. For one thing, you know, show business people they understand the pain of the creative process. And there's all kinds of show business, but it's all show business. Whether you're a crossing guard and <laughs> schlepping commercial properties, right? It's all show business. Just look at Alan. He reeks of show business. He sells the biggest buildings in Buffalo. You guys have seen his name on the buildings that are for sale. Hastings. Yeah, it's the Andersons roast beef of of, of commercial brokerage. Thing. Yeah, it's got a big thing. Is uh, my pal still there? Lenny, yes. How's his daughter's career? Oh, there you go. See, it's all going full full circle. Oh, Kenny's going to have to go check her out. Wow, that's great. Made it into the Philharmonic. I mean, that's there's only so many places, you know. Did she get the instrument she was hoping she'd get in the Philharmonic? They put her on, they put her on timpani. <laughs> Sometimes you got to take, you know, you put in your first choice. Sometimes it's good to fool them in those uh, major orchestras. You tell them, like, you want to play bass and you really want the piano. So you get your second choice. It's really what you wanted. There's strategy involved. I learned this stuff by being, you know, hanging out with a critic. You find out how the, the inner workings. How the sausages are made. I tried out for an orchestra once, so they, they told me, 
Oh, they just kept, kept telling me uh, they wanted me to play the buffoon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could even hold one of those things up. <laughs> you ever try lifting a buffoon? Or polishing one? Her buffoon was stolen. Oh my gosh, did she leave it in a cab? Maybe she got out of the cab and left the buffoon. That's why you should never put put anything in the trunk of the cab. You forget it's there. Then she got it back at last. The was never returned. No, I was never spellbound by a starry sky. Liz Kahn's out there, lady. How about a big round of applause for Liz Kahn? She's, she's one half of the Buffalo uh, Buffalo um, PR juggernaut. Of Steve Bell and Liz Kahn. If you're listening, say hi to Steve for me. Come down to Lounge Academy sometime, Liz. The audience will love you, I know that. And Mary's Mary's old friend and work associate. Liz Kahn. She'd be great. Great lounge Yeah. Well, we want Liz Kahn. We all agree. Steve, work on it. Bring her down here, would you? She was a fan of Guy Valerian. We'll give her a tryout. I know how it's going to work out. At last. Center has come along. Can't get that off my mind. My lonely days are over, and life is like a song. That's how I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna be singing in this when they say deals off when they're all in jail and they say we can't do this. Been building enough like, huge things. Where are they getting all this money? Like the whole Solar City didn't it come from like a bunch of slush funds? Like they, it wasn't even in the budget. They just so the, so those slush funds must be getting kind of dry, right? Or are they, or are they just in, like an ocean? It seems like a weird time to go for 400 million bucks, right? There's only a hundred million left of the. Now, didn't they have like the second billion? There was a billion, and then they did the second billion dollar winner. Look, there's real people out there wanting to come in and spend money, and we can't let them in because we're because we're not a thing yet. We're working on that. I'm working on a liquor license. I figure once I have all the paperwork, then it'll be real, you know, and I could just like then decorate the place. Because <laughs> it'll count. We'll be playing with live ammunition. I gotta do all these things quick to get them all off my bucket list. It's a good, it is, it actually does kind of give you a little. You know, motivation. All of a sudden, there's like a deadline. Yeah. Life 
is like a song. same time. That's, that's Alan for you. He's probably selling a building while he's here. My designated drinkers out there. How are you, sir? Wonderful to see you. Sean, cut the cat for me. Tell him. Sean's got a great new cat. Nice little orangey. Beautiful little thing. He's got fluffy fur. And Gary Mooney's out there. Talk about Mr. Show Business. He's a professional clown. He's a regular on the Lounge Academy. Okay, we got some real we got some real song people here tonight. There's one about the place we're sitting in right now. We'll have a whole room. A new room for two rooms. Where every day a holiday on account of your Not like a ballroom, small room, a room, where I can smoke my pipe away, and your weed head upon my knee. We will thrive on. and Mrs. 
song. I like that song. We call this room the Blue Room. It used to be Big Blue and the old branding. The round table. They tell me there really was a round table. Might have been right where this piano is. Yeah, by the window. Do you remember this place in any of its earlier incarnations? Yeah, I'll bet. You, you probably closed it every night. Yeah. Oh, just once? Which one was it? Club Heat or Club Aluminum? Or? Oh, at the round table. Oh, you, you have some kind of recollection of that? Wow. It was quite a place. From what I've, I've heard many times, that all the big important people would come here from out of the courthouses, the lawyers, the judges, the, the gangsters, and they'd, they'd all, you know, have a beer at the end of the day. Yeah, well, George, yeah, it was his place. Imagine that. It would be great if he was just could sit down here in his place with us. Right now, but don't. <laughs> You'll scare the hell out of us. <laughs> but wouldn't that be something? He was an amazing guy. Yeah. 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 You know, New York. That whole. I wonder. You know, I wonder. If, I wonder if Trump was influenced by his personality. You know. How could you not be? That brashness. It's funny, you know, he was, um, from what I heard about him from when he was hanging out in the bars and got to know his partners that he bought this place with, but he, he was this, this kind of quiet guy that had trouble meeting people, George Steinbrenner, and he, he liked he these, nerd, these partners, these restaurateurs, like they owned the, the Royal Arms was the place they owned. What was that, on Bailey? I think they'd, they had music. It was a jazz place, Marino. On Utica. So he, he knows... And I think they got along well because they'd introduce him to people, you know, probably to women or just, any, you know, I don't know, maybe just to be, just to have friends and be sociable, I don't know. <laughs> or to meet women and, you know, and go down that road. I don't know if he was single or not, I don't, I don't know. But, but he was a quiet guy and he'd sit there and then... Even when he became a partner, um, he'd be sitting there going over numbers or something. They'd kind of pull him out to join the party, you know. It's hard to believe that that guy, he really came out of his shell because of this place. Yeah. I notice I'm wilder since I've owned this building. Something about it, the special kind of asbestos it has. Marino, they're writing songs, songs of love. Yeah, we feel this need in our life. Every song. Not for Marino. To greet our God. The lucky stars of love. But not for me. It's trying to distract me. I found more clouds of gray. Any Russian play could guarantee 
I was a fool to fall and get that way. I owe a lesson and so back a day. And dismiss the memories of her kiss. I guess she's not. away though from the no it's, it's a little further away you have to move your eyes when you're working with close tolerances you move that extra quarter inch and you're, you don't know where you might wind up someone's going to help me out with this one maybe Alan will Ladies and gentlemen, Marino. Come fly with me. Oh, you don't know this one? What do you want to do? When I want rain, <laughs> I get sunny weather. I get stormy Daniels. <laughs> Some about stormy. This is the introduction where I get to rehearse it. Hi, Trisha. How are you? Now the pressure's on. Gary Mooney and Trisha's out there. And Bill Jenkins. So these are people that know show business. So let's show them business. Yeah. 
Lucky Moses, ladies and gentlemen, have entered the room. My friends ask me out, and I say that I'm busy. It's Nick Moses, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is. Nice to see you, sir. Maybe. He owes me money. That's why he's nice with me. He owes me money. That's From the last haircut. Still paying off the mortgage on the last haircut. Getting down close to the principal. <laughs> The Yankees won, George. George, you hear that? The hockey game. The hockey game. The Sabres. I say the Sabres. He said the Yankees. Why did you do this to me every time? You, this is like your, your little like baton, police baton. He clobbers me with it. That's why I have to be nice to him. I'm glad you made it out. How was Thanksgiving? Did you have, were you immersed in family? We went to one group to another group. I see. My son Did you know anybody? And my daughter. No. I have children. Total strangers I was chasing cats I didn't know. They were total strangers. That's true. You did do that. Thank goodness. <laughs> Well, come on over, Trisha. Who remembers? Come down any Friday night, Trisha. Looking forward to it. Bring, bring that. Bring your mechanic with you. See what he's doing. See what he does. <laughs> It's like the hook. Nick's going to be up with a couple of big, big numbers later on. Later on, he just got here. He's got to have a few drinks. Here's one about Nick. Happy Thanksgiving, Kathy. Thank you. Thanks, you guys in 
Mm -hmm. did, did you guys like get together on Thanksgiving? Do something together? Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, nice. Yeah. Or she slept half the day today the way I did. <laughs> yeah, Mary's like. Well, yeah, they thought I did also. That's what happened to you for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, this was like a whole week for Mary. She had the, the nieces over helping making things every day. Yeah, they were here for two days. They go to Buff State. We should get them over to Lounge Academy for crying out loud. It was nice. It worked out well, but it was just Okay, here you go, Trisha. Here's one for you. She's 12 and he's 9. Yeah. They say I'll move a mountain and I'll move the mountain if she wants them out of the way. Crazy, she calls me. I'd say, say I'll go through fire and I'll go through fire as she wants it so shall it be crazy she calls me sure the bow she moves me with her smile the difficult I'll do right now the impossible will take a little If I have to hold up the whole damn sky Crazy, she calls me Sure, I'm crazy Crazy in love Am I? Am I? I care. 
there forever And I mean forever If I have to hold up the sky Crazy she calls me Sure I'm crazy Crazy in love Am I Am I? Sigmund and Russell, thanks, McNeil, for starting off that round of applause. What do you think this song? Hi, Kathy Tripp. Crazy calls me. What's the name of that, Howard? Crazy. Crazy, he calls me. It's a good one, McNeil. I think. Here's a song that McNeil does. Maybe she'll get up and do it in this key. Is it in my key? No, I'm doing the same as I It will be if you sing it in this key. She dances. I'm, I'm not going to change the gender. I'm secure. <laughs> he dances overhead in on my ceiling near my bed. Oh, Peggy does this one. It's such a weird song. No, no. This is a Peggy song. And, and I, I hear you doing it. Listen to this. I'll show it to you. I'll have the honor. Do you, do you, have you heard it? She dances overhead. Wait, he dances. He dances overhead. On my ceiling. Near my bed. Maybe she doesn't do it. It's a weird song. In my sight. To hide in vain underneath my counterpane. There's my love. Up, up above. I whisper, go away, my lover. It's not fair I'm so grateful to discover She's still there I love my ceiling more Since it is a dancing floor Just for my love song though, isn't it? Rogers and Hart. Yeah. 
pretty song. It sort of reminds me of Polka Dots Movies. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That pug nose dream. Yeah. Who hasn't had a pug nose dream? Mm -hmm. Me neither. One of these one of these nights. I keep having this dream. Recurring pug nose dream. I have a recurring dream and it seems it seems you ever, you ever dream? Sometimes dreams seem more real. Sometimes they seem more real than like when you're awake. I'm in a fog half the time when I'm awake, you know, but those dreams seem so real. Trish, you like that weeding I'm doing? Watch this. I had the craziest dream last night. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. There you were, in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine. So I kissed them, and you didn't mind it at all. When I'm away, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? She said the same dream. If there's a chance that you care, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my Make my crazy dreams come true. Craziest dream. Gary, you know I had the craziest dream. Well, that song, yeah. 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 Here's the one everybody can join in with. Join in with this one, Trisha. Nice to see Camille out there. I thought I saw her walking through the back of the lounge. Is that you, Camille? Oh, Ready? Days, I don't know that song. We gotta look into these books. Days of wine and roses. Laugh and run away. Like a child at play. Through the meadow. Toward a closing door, door marked 
nevermore. That wasn't there before. Just a passing breeze Filled with memories Of a golden smile That introduced me to The days of wine and roses And Nick Great. Yeah. She wanted to sing that song and Guy knew it. so funny. This book is in modern up. Oh, I know. I, he's, he's great. Maybe I'll take a stab at uh, one of his. I haven't done it. Boy, boy they're tough. Is it in this one? Oh, and Gary was requesting close up pages in a book, too. Sigmund Romberg, and it's in here. I don't know if I've got that one in my ear. Yeah. Do I, I know I that one, Marino? Marino knows. Marino, can you play it? No, but no you can play it. Do I know it? My, have I heard it before? You, probably not, but uh, you can read it. This isn't it. You can read. <laughs> We got a request for some for Gary. to hear some Bert Backrack done poorly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fulfill that. I'm gonna fulfill that. I can play the back. hard one to sing. Everything's hard for me to sing though, so what's the difference? That's the beauty of it. Healthy, then I guess it 
is wise to be cruel. And if life belongs only to the strong, healthy, good when on an old golden rule, a short Without true love, we just exist. Healthy, until you find the one you've missed, you're nothing. Healthy, when you walk, let your heart lead the way, and you'll find love any day. Healthy. Ellen, sorry, Ellen. I mix those up. It's a beautiful song. Someday, able to do it justice. He was a genius, wasn't he? Oh, oh yeah. You're watching Lounge Academy because it's Friday. You're up in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I fall in love. Oh, my plane? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I thought, I thought you were going to do the whole act. I fall, do, do we have the, I fall in love. I fall in love. Do you, is that the name of it? Mary? It's in that book. Okay, good. Then we can do it. It's in that book. A lot of paperwork involved in show business. Did you, is somebody there, Mary? I don't hear that. Or we could do, you know, the change. I fall in love. What's the real name of the song? I fall in love too easily. Is that the actual I title? Fall in, yeah. Because it's... Well, here, see if you can find it then. You said it was in here. No, it's not in this book. It's in the other. Here, find it and then... Uh, it's not in there. Find it and we'll do it. Oh, they got hello. They're looking this way. Hello. Hello. It's me and me. The, yeah. Lionel Richie. Okay. You know, hello. Lionel trains were pretty cool, too. I only have eyes for you. Are the stars out tonight? You don't have the one. Oh. Well, find it. It's, we have it somewhere. Find it, and then we'll do it. I'll kill a little time here. We'll do a little travel and music. I just never. I never was able to do it as a board game. You I'll do one that's really passionate. I'm a fool. To want you. I'm a fool to want you. To want to love that can't be true. Rita's going to find his song and we're going to do it. I'm, I'm going to laugh you right out of my life. I love it. Laugh and be, forget this affair. I'm going to laugh you. Guess I was foolish to care. So I could have danced you right out of my dream. Try to be angry and gay. Guess that I'll learn to play the part. And when our 
our friends begin their hearts. Heartless rumors. I know I'll really need my sense of humor. I'm gonna laugh you right out of my life. Make this a beautiful joke. No one will know you broke my heart. And if I find you and I really meant that last goodbye, then I'm gonna laugh. We're no, stalling, Marino. We're stalling. Not in these books. I See, I, I'm sure it must I be in one of them. You I fall in love. I've got a crush on you, sweetie pie. Hey, I just sing. I don't write it. All day and all night time. It's 2018. Did I do this one already? Yeah. Oh, right. we did this one. Here's one. Here's one that. This is you one. You down with love? Yeah, I've heard it enough times that if you got the music and it's not crazy, I could do it. If you got the music, I'm down with love. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. George goes one time. George, so deep in my heart. George says, "You're really a part there. of me." But there's only 1,200 in there. George I've got goes, you. He, George has a new show business gig. It's great. He's a genius for thinking of it. I've tried so not to give in. said to myself, this affair never will go so well. Why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well? I've got you under my skin. Sacrifice everything, come what may, for the sake of living near. In spite of the warning voice comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never could win. Use your mentality, wake up to reality. But each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you, 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 under my skin, subcutaneously, get your flu shot, under my skin. You're a calamine. Calamine. Thank you. Just the paperwork part of this show business stuff is more complicated well, than people book. know. Yeah. It is. I, this is a, this is my favorite book. It's, got, it's the easy We're reader. Do it's the Beatles A to Z. Why did I wander here and there and yonder, wasting precious time? For no reason or rhyme Isn't it a pity Isn't it a crime My journey's ending Everything is splendid Meeting you today Has given me a Case of diarrhea
It's a funny thing I look at you I get a thrill I never knew Isn't it a pity We never met Before China, China, happiest of men, I'm sure to be, if only you would say to me, isn't it a pity we never met before? Gershwin and Gershwin. Jim's and Dan Gershwin song. With the men all chew tobacco and the women wicky wacky. That's a classic. Okay. He loves this song called The Ice It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found. Somebody who could make me feel blue and lonely just to be sad thinking of you. Some others I see might never be me. Might never be cross, try to be boss, but they wouldn't do. But nobody else gave me a thrill with all your faults. I love you still. It had to be you, wonderful you. It had to be you. Here, look through this book, Marino. Yeah. Try this one. This is a good one? Yeah. Oh, I have this one. Yeah, it's a great book. That's the best book ever done. Because it's set up well. Not only are they great songs, but there's no page turns. They've got all the verses. And they're large. They have the verses? Yeah. And so it's a great you know, if you had to grab, okay. do a job, that's the book. You know, we're going to do a call. Is that Jackie's book? No, I actually, I actually sourced, found that book, researched and found for, to do, to fill in for him. Because I figured I need something that I don't have here. <laughs> I need lots of things that I don't have. And it turned out to be a great book. Yeah, I have this one. Baltimore Orioles. Crazy good. Uh, day in, day out. Yeah. Okay. You do. Let's 
in there. You know it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know, now we're getting closer. I don't know. We'll, we'll share it. You know? I don't know anything, Marino. Bring your mic over. Oh. Song. Yeah, that's what they call it, Nick. They call it the doo-doo song in show business. You're gonna give me a fat whip. Do you play the verse? You want me to? Ladies and gentlemen. You're going to know the song. Ready? No. You do something to me, something that simply mystifies me. You jumped ahead. Doing. Marino, there's, you know, you know take it from the top. It's all right, we'll get it. This is how we do at Lounge Academy. I need, I need, it. I need a seat or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a, I don't have my glasses. I don't have a chair. I, I, he I forgot know. his glasses. Ouch. Oh, Everybody, you do <laughs> something to me, something that simply mystifies me. Tell me, why should it be you have the power to hypnotize me? to me nobody else could do that's why they call it doo doo hey that was a great all right marino assembled no, this was from 50 million frenchmen <laughs> 50 million was that a protest rally <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was in washington dc wasn't it
Remember that one? <laughs> Five showed up. <laughs> Five. <laughs> looked like 50 million, though. If you were there, it looked like it. I could tell you that. Yeah. Where are you going? Hi, everybody out in WBIG land. It's a very mellow night. It's a great night. Worldwide, except here. No. Okay, here's, here's <laughs> McNeil's. Where did McNeil go? She pulled an Irish to buy. We saw her oh. do it. She split. Okay, I'll have to do her song. She bounced. Yeah. Mary, point that mic away from the PA. Oh. Just, just tip it over so it's not feeding back. No, you can leave it in the holder. Just point it away from the PA. Like These are little show business things we have to learn around here. No, just, no, that, see, I'm, the, the PA is there, and it's feeding here, back. Pass over to you so what you, you do is, it. well, it's a directional here, mic. Here, here you go. <laughs> see the way this works? And you do that. And low, low. See, then you can talk in it, and it won't feed back. She's been hanging around here for 15 years. <laughs> now it's blocking the camera. That's why I have so many hats. So many paper hats. <laughs> Mary's going to do color. <sighs> It's like a football game. <laughs> Mari does this song beautifully. You go to my head And you linger Like a haunting refrain This one, Marina. Go to my head, and you linger like a haunting refrain. And I find you spinning round in my brain like the bubbles in a cheap glass of champagne. go to my head like a sip of sparkling burgundy brew and I find you very the very mention of you like the kicker in the big wazoo The thought that might give a thought to my plea casts a spell over me. Still, I say to myself, Get a hold of yourself, can't you see? It never can be. You go to my head. With a smile that makes my temperature rise Like the summer with a thousand Julys You intoxicate the soul with your eyes And I'm certain that this heart of mine isn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy romance You go to my head You go to my head Thank you.
Thank you, Kathy. Oh, nice to see you, Chris. Everyone's Thanksgiving was great. How was yours? You know, had the family at our house. We had it at our house, Chris. And uh, the whole fam family was over there. I was chasing the cat down the street. Turned out it wasn't even our cat. Thank goodness, because he's not supposed to be outside. I was worried. And he was treating me like a stranger. You make me feel so young. Here's one. I'll see if I can remember. I'm trying to learn this new one. The nights. What's the night? Okay, I got that part. The night. Oh, okay. The night is like a lovely tune. Beware my foolish heart. Help me out, Marino. How wide the ever-constant moon Take care, my foolish heart There's a line between love and fascination Hard to see on an evening such as this Both bring the very same sensation. I know. Of a kiss. Your lips are much too close to mine. Beware my foolish heart. Or the dream that will fade and fall apart. It's love. This time it's love, my foolish heart. Isn't that a just like a all time classic? Classic old standard, that one. If I say, what is the classic sounding standard from those eras? That one. And somebody requested it at the Statler a few months ago. This song I just did, Beware My Foolish Heart. Somebody requested it when I was playing at the Statler. And I realized what a fool I am for not knowing that song. I'll never. Yeah. <laughs> like what? What am I? If can't if I can't do that song. Mary, see, see, the mic causes a squeal if it's pointing toward the speaker. Oh, I see. Yeah. Could you play the song? Yeah. Which one you want to do? The one I did. Poor little fool. Yeah. What's it called? Do we have the music? Do I play that one? I know you did it at El Capola last time. Okay, it's, on, it's on Facebook. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. You want me to play it? You want, you, want, you want to sing it, right? That's what this whole conversation is about. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the name of it? Okay, I What's it called again? Four little fools. Yeah, yeah. Four little fools. Yeah, it's fine. Just play. I like it. 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 I like
I don't think, do I play that one for you? Or do you, that, you do that one? I do it. Al Capola. Solo. Solo. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a El Capola coming up. He's going to sing it unaccompanied. It's not El. A cappella. Good evening. Stop it. Coming right up, Nick. Strange dear. It's not that song. But through dear, when I'm close to you, dear, the stars fill the sky. So in love with you am I. Even without you, my. I will be today. You part of great. I put jokes in there. <laughs> Come on, do it about straight. You. Like we're into it. I got me stuck. <laughs> I'm going to sing the song I came to sing. Oh, so in love. Billy X sang. Anybody know Billy X? Yes, yes, yes. yes. I love Billy X. Fool that I am for falling in love with you. Fool that I am for thinking you love me too. You took my heart and played the part of little coquettes, and my dream disappeared like the smoke from a lit cigarette. Oh, that I am for thinking you don't understand and thinking you would listen to the thing we had planned. But we couldn't see eye to eye. So, darling, this is goodbye. But I still care. Fool that I am. That's nice. I love it. Well, that's great. What's the name of that one? Billy Eckstein. You weren't born. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Billy Eckstein died in the 1200s. <laughs> we were in cover of wagons going to California. What's the name of the song? Billy Eckstein. But I still, I'll wait. Who did I am? And, and my wallet's gone now. I heard it from people before I was born. No, Billy Eckstein was he was a big, he was a big deal. Billy Eckstein. Wait a minute. Sing us out. I might leave. Oh wait, I live here. See you tomorrow night. Okay. Oh, you, we'll be there. Nice meeting you all. Nice meeting you, Kev. Ken. 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 Nice meeting you, sir. Bye, all. We'll see you tomorrow night. Casa Marino. Everybody's invited, ladies and gentlemen. I just, I was just trying to keep it from feeding back. I wasn't trying to.
<laughs> Although that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Should have named him Mike instead of Nick. I'm thinking this all. <laughs> well, you witnessed it here, ladies and gentlemen. The man in black on Black Friday. Friday uh, after Thanksgiving. We're telecasting from downtown Buffalo, Niagara Square, in the heart of the core business government lounge district. Looks like we got to adjust this camera a little bit. Really went berserk when Nick took over. Here we are. I feel like I'm never going to have my normal life. Otherwise, you can't see the part in my hair. Here at Lounge Academy, where every Friday you could join us like clockwork. And you could lounge from wherever you are. You could join the piano lounge party. You could make requests. You could say hi and converse with your favorite lounge cadets that are in studio. And you can become a lounge cadet wherever you are. Because it's a philosophy and a lifestyle. Here's something that Jerry Lewis did in The Nutty Professor. Yeah. Up at dawn, sleepy and yawning, still the taste of wine. Then I remember your mining. I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch that clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam Bounds, Cape Canaveral and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little to my tail. I'm holding you. What's the hassle? Up by the castle, we can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you got a world that we got a world that swings a world that swings I'd like to take you on a wild wonderful adventure fly like a kite from space no strings I don't want to lose that bell that rings cause I've got a world that swings I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow, tied the string round my finger. The string reminds me of mine, and I've got a world that swings. Adam Bombs, Cape Canaveral, and fossil arms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings If you remember your mind then I've got a world that you've got a world that we've got a world that swings We've got a world that swings A world that swings Nick wants likes girls that swing Who doesn't? <laughs> the best kind. 
Everything's better swinging. It's an LG, that's a nice one. It's an LG. Yeah, nice. Gary Marino, ladies and gentlemen. You know how many times I've dropped this phone? And it's does it does it keep it's so oh smart it probably Gary. counts for you. Encore, I can Yeah, Encore, Encore, Gary. Huh? I can't. These guys are waiting for me. Sing an encore. Oh, there. Oh. What a bunch of party poopers those guys are. Standing outside waiting for the booth to open? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Gary Marino and Alan Hastings and Kenny. Kathy goes again. I see the rainbow's trumpets blow again. We're all aglow again, taking a chance on love. Here I slide again, about to take that ride again. I'm starry eyed again, taking a chance on love. Said the game is a frame up, I never would try. Now I'm taking that game up and the ace of hearts is high. Things are mending now, I see the rainbows blending now. We'll have that happy ending now, taking a chance on love. Taking a chance on love. Blending now. We'll have that happy ending now. Taking a chance on love. Taking a chance on love. The song. Robin sings through years of endless swings. The murmur of a brook at even time that ripples by a nook where two lovers hide. by starlight and not a dream my heart and I agree she's everything to me to me what do you mean to me I saw her first The classic Stella by Starlight. Who wrote that, Mary? Brock Monner wrote the melody. 
that was stolen from Rock Mountain, yes. Mountain borrowed. Going to give it back. I'll be tired of you. There was nobody there. He's well, he's not here tonight. Yeah. He, oh yeah, I've known him most of my life. I'll be tired of you, Nick. <laughs> When the stars grow tired of gleaming When I am tired of dreaming Then I'll be tired of you This I know is true. When winds grow tired of blowing, grass is tired of growing, then I'll be tired. Beyond the years, from natal night till wrong is right, till the birds refuse to sing. Beyond the years, the echo of my only love will still be whispering. Whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating, that it is tired of beating, then I'll be tired. Lounge Academy, where every Friday night. Shaft. That's all I said, Kathy. The rest was up to him. <laughs> if I, if I look at you and begin to sing, I'm not as crazy as I seem to be.
if I collect bits of straw and string. I'm only doing what those robins do. After all, it's spring. If I dream out loud when we're in a crowd and forget the time of day, darling, bear with me when they stare at me and forget their gold. An April Fool in me And if I hear bells And there's no such thing I'm only dreaming of a day to be when they really ring. After all, after all, after all, it's spring. Happy Thanksgiving, Barry. Thanks for checking in and hanging out with us here at Lounge Academy. Sounds like you had a, a nice night. Cutting people open and then cutting it up on the piano. Doesn't get better than that. I'll bet they enjoyed that. Everything 
you want to be. This can't be true. This time the dream is on me. This time the dream on me. Wanted it all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy days. We wanted it always. Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Back when we were dumb How did we become So smart And learn To break each other's hearts How all our dreams came true See how I've got me And baby you've got you Through it all just one thing died A little thing called love Something deep inside Thank you. 
Nick, I'm the sentimental sap that's all. What's the use of trying not to fall? I have no will. You made your kill because you took advantage of me. Yeah. I'm just like the apple on a bow. And you're gonna shake me down somehow. What's the use? You cooked my goose. You took advantage of me. I'm supposed to cook a goose on Thanksgiving, Nick. I'm so hot and bothered that I don't know my elbow from my ear. Suffer something awful each time you go, and much worse when you're near. Here I am with all my, all my bridges burned. Just a babe in arms, where you're concerned. So lock the doors. Call me yours. On account of you took, you took advantage of me. Boy, that thermos is amazing, Nick. It's the coldest day of the year, and your your coffee is steaming. <laughs> the coffee, I love the coffee. I think it's important. <laughs> yeah, I smell the Did coffee. Did you reheat it in the microwave? No. Wow. What kind of thermos is that? <laughs> Nuclear? I, I usually put cold stuff in there. I didn't realize it was good for hot too. Wow. Yeah. What if you put both in? Will they both stay right? <laughs> You'd, you'd be so. On the street. You'd be so nice Whoa. by the fire while the breeze on high sang a lullaby. You'd be all that I would desire. Stars chill by the winter. August moon burning above You'd be so nice You'd be like paradise To come home to And love Cole Porter Something to shout about Barry says hello, everybody. Everybody says hello back, Barry. Barry was operating on somebody's cervicals, and then he went and played piano at the hospital. <laughs> the man just can't stop? No. I love how Bing Crosby has his pipe, and he has a cigarette. They all have their smoking. Bing, you never have someone come out there with a pipe. No, that never happens. That's what I always loved him. Picture you. Yeah. On my knee, T for two, and two for T, me for you, and you for me, alone. Nobody near us to see us or hear us. Friends or relations, on weekend vacations, forgot what I'm playing. It's all that turkey. They will break and will awake and will start to bake a sugar cake for me to take. 
for all the boys to see. We will raise a family, a boy for you, girl for me. Can't you see how happy we will be?
much to discover From lover to lover How little we understand what touches authentic Sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle Who cares to define what chemistry this is Who cares with your lips and mine Touch mine. I'm afraid the masquerade is it's over. And so is love. And so. Just routine. I'm afraid the masquerade is it's over. And so is love. Thank you. 
I got up this morning Got my hair cut I said I got up this morning Went to Nick's for a haircut When I got there he was gone Just my luck <laughs> I looked for Nick up the street at the bar. I said I went looking for Nick down at the bar. Then I saw him driving his car. I find myself out gazing at stars Hearing guitars Like someone in love Kathy, <laughs> the things I do astound me Mostly whenever I'm at Lounge Academy Lately, I seem to walk as though I had wings Bumping into things Like someone in love And feeling, feeling like someone in love. I'm feeling like someone in love. At Lounge Academy. Which game was that? The Sabres. Tonight? Do they get paid triple time when they, they're in overtime? Yeah. Time and a half? Is that why they like overtime? It's an apple. She turned on her apple. And tuned in Lounge Academy tonight.
That's what happens when a husband puts his coat on. Goodbye, Kathy Moses. Goodbye, Nick Moses. Thank you very much. When you go by the booth, um, check out the brand new microwave. I bought a new one for it. Just came in. It's the world's cheapest microwave. It was $32 from Walmart. A microwave. $32. Bucks. Yeah. Should I get the extended warranty, Nick? Time for the epilogue of the show, yeah, Mary Coons well, Goldman. It was Goldman. a really nice launch academy. I enjoyed this a lot. It was. You know, it was, it was just perfect it for... Was perfect. We, needed this we had, like, a lot of great people. Good. Everybody was in the same vibe yeah, of, of the, the Thanksgiving kind of hangover. Okay, I know, because everyone worked really hard, and, you know, and then you just want to wind down. Yeah. Our home audience was right in the same zone. Like Kathy's saying, we're doing her in the Thanksgiving hangover and had to sleep for half the <laughs> yeah, it wipes you out. And I said, me too, me too, I did too. People don't see their families as much, you know. <laughs> Her daughter slept for half. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we wipe each other it out. You feel not like a freak. Oh, she did too? Yeah, I did too. <laughs> yeah, for those of us who slept half the day today because we hosted the family Thanksgiving. Yeah, Mary was wiped out. I was wiped out. <laughs> Even the cat was sleeping in. The cat was sleeping with me. Well, here we are at the epilogue, we call it. It's the, it's a part we tack on to the end of the show when everybody leaves. Kind of sum up what, what we've, what enriched in our lives the most this evening. This was a really nice evening. Here, I'll put the, uh, this shot up for you guys. We've got lots of camera angles. It, did, it worked out good. I had no idea what was going to happen tonight. Maybe even more so than normal, you know, just because of this uh, day after Thanksgiving. People have family in town. People are out of town visiting family. Mostly people come here because they're from here. Most people yeah, Kenny was here. He was just visiting. Family. He was visiting. Yeah, I mean, you know, unless they got like kids that moved away and then they go yeah. visit them. Excuse to go somewhere warm. Up back in but then who wants to travel on Thanksgiving yeah, weekend? No, Holy cow! Good. I'm just glad to stay put. Nice to see uh, Alan. Yeah, I haven't seen Alan him Hastings. Oh, that's great. Come by from Hastings and Cohen. That name sounds familiar. Uh, that's, that's because you see it every day on buildings because they they're a commercial broker for commercial yeah. property. <laughs> It's great to see McNeil, the show business. She's a wonderful superstar, Mary McNeil. Yeah. She's always fun. I love hearing her stories about performing here and there. Yeah, her vaudeville stories. Yeah, it's a wonderful singer. I 
the Nick and Kathy. Beautiful. Nick and Kathy. We couldn't do it without Nick and Kathy. They're the only ones that know the songs tonight. And Marino. Oh, yeah. It was great to see And McNeil. Yeah, great. Oh, that's a great American song. Alan knows a lot of them. He's, you know, he's hip. He hangs out with Marino and Guy Bellary and lounges. And he, you know. He likes the old stuff. of apple pie left. I saw some apple pie over there. I think there is some. I'm going to heat some up. I might go out in the booth and heat it up with my new uh, microwave. microwave that I bought for the booth. Dennis Sullivan's out there. Nice to see you, sir. Dennis Sullivan. We're just finishing up, Dennis. We call this the epilogue of the show. Good time to like gossip about the people that the that, that, that left, and or even more for the people that weren't here at all, or the people that turned off their television sets. Here's one we haven't done in a long time. Maybe I'll close with this number. Like all fools, I believed what I wanted to believe. My foolish hearts conceived what foolish hearts conceived. I thought I found a miracle. I thought that you'd adored me It was not a miracle It was merely a mirage before me You are too beautiful, my dear to be true and I am a fool for beauty fooled by a feeling that because I had found you I could have bound you to you are too beautiful Oh, one man alone, one lucky fool to be with. When there are other men with eyes of their own to see with, love does not stand sharing not if not if one cares have you been comparing my every kiss with theirs if on the other hand I'm faithful to you It's not for a sense of duty You are too beautiful And I am a fool for Rogers and Hart. Oh, beautiful. 1932. Wow, these songs are old. They're older than I think they are. Yeah. It's a beautiful song. You are too beautiful. 
Yeah, I love it when it goes, if on the other hand. <laughs> Neil Coker, are you out there? With the eyes of their own to see with. <laughs> yeah. It's a good rhyme. Beautiful writing. Yeah, beautiful. sing it like Patricia what was her name the secret singer who actually sang it because it was lip synced in the movie and highly guarded secret Patricia Faraday or Friday took his name from for his show. Joe yeah. He got the idea from Pr Patricia Faraday's last Patricia name. Joe. Yeah. What girl Friday? Who was Jack Webb, who was at the time married or up around that time married to Julie London, her first husband. <coughs> Later on, continued in her life as her producer when she was married to uh, Bobby Troop. The three of them stayed tight, professionally. What a group of people that was, huh? Who's gonna, who's gonna take the place who's of, replace? who's gonna replace Julie London? Who's gonna replace Bobby True? sing in December Long before the springtime is due And even though it's snowing Violets are growing I know why And so do you
and so do you. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for. It's been a great lounge academy. It's been a great lounge academy. Another one in the books. <laughs> we'll see you next Friday. We're here every Friday night. We've been doing this forever. <laughs> We're going to do it forever because we got we got to keep this song and the lounge. We got to keep the lounge alive. That's what we do here at Lounge Academy. Beautiful songs we sang here tonight. They are. They're beautiful songs. Requested by the people towards Some great requests. Yeah, we had some really good requests for some lesser known songs. Yeah, some obscure songs. Beautiful songs. Now take the finger that has the, can, <laughs> the power to make music or destroy music <laughs> the one finger. by ending the show. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to send us into the ether, and you can live uh, forever with our reruns. <laughs> we'll see you next week, everybody. I hate going into the ether. Well, it's nice in the ether <laughs> this time of year. That's true. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Good night, everyone. See you next Friday at Lounge Academy right here.